Is that a dog? Or a Wookiee? <laughs> that was a dog. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> really? <laughs> we are Story Fandom. And we're back, finally. Just the two of us. After our extended break. Uh, to do a uh, reaction to Doctor Who. <clears throat> what? I had a tickle in my nose. Oh. <laughs> I thought you were making some comment about my introduction here after all this time. You'll know when I'm making a comment. <laughs> So we're both excited to see this. We're big Doctor Who fans. Um, I'm Literally gonna... the reason why we're recording. Yes. Because I want to watch all the trailers that have been dropped recently. So. Yes. Um, and we'll also leave a link down below to our Doctor Who playlists. So you guys can watch our reaction to that. With the whole family. But it's just us. Doctor Who. Jody's last season. But this doesn't start the season. I thought it, was, it did. No, I thought it was like a special it's like the Halloween. I thought special. there was only going to be like I thought it was almost like David Tennant's kind of fourth season, where he had like four specials or five specials because there's only going to be six episodes in the last season for her. I and have no idea. I know she's wrapped filming, so she's done. I know that. And I actually feel a little bit bad for her because I feel like she never got a season without Chibnall. <laughs> I feel like she could have done great. <laughs> I know Russell T Davies is coming back, so I bet it would have been really great. Yeah, she would have had some good stories. There's just, it wasn't like the fact that it was so progressive, because I did like that. I like that it, you know, talked about things that are affecting the world right now, but what bugged me is just the way he did it. It was like he didn't know what Doctor Who was. I know. So and for someone just, who apparently wrote on Torchwood, which is something people have told me when I've complained about Chibnall, that you don't know about Chibnall, you know, you talk about he doesn't like sci-fi, he wrote for Torchwood. Then why was Doctor Who so bad? Which season of Torchwood? I got nothing. I don't know what Because to be if honest. it was season one, I didn't really like season one that much. My favorites were the one with the children one. And parts of the second season. The last season were decent, but it was really... It, it got taken over by America. <laughs> it was just a bit much. It got all that drama that America gets. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and open up uh, the reaction window and get started. You can't see my white on camera, at least. Well, now I don't know. I'm just saying. I gotta dye my hair soon. Probably tomorrow. Blue. It's happening again. Who are you? I'm the doctor. This is Jas. This is Dan. <laughs> I don't know about this. And who else does? Is that a dog? Or a Wookiee? <laughs> that was a <laughs> Maybe you should have broke that seal a little bit more gently. What is that? Oh yeah, Grey Worm. I'm excited. Our final fight has begun. Oh wow! Okay. Well, that answered our question. So it is going to be the six episodes. Yeah, and it's all going to be one story. Don't forget to click so below six and parts. subscribe to the official Doctor Who YouTube channel. Huh. Hmm. I'm excited to see Grey Worm, by the way. Who's Grey Worm? From Game of Thrones. Oh! Oh! I did not recognize him. I was like... I didn't even recognize the name. I'm like, Grey, Grey Worm? Grey Worm? What's, it's what? not exactly a common name. I just, I couldn't place it. <laughs> I was like, what? Do I do I know that? Do I? I don't remember that. And then when you find this at Game of Thrones, like... All, all the little like came on correctly and the little it was like that little path of, like when you play this, the circuit games like when you play those puzzle games you have to turn the circuits and it all lights up like ding oh that's what you're talking about <laughs> I'm hopeful but I'm hopeful going into every Doctor Who season so yeah and even though I hated what he did with the Timeless Child 
I agree that last series was much better except for the drag. Than his first one. Fucking drags. I hated that episode so much. <laughs> it made no sense plot wise. Yeah, it was better than the first season he did with the Pating. Yeah. No, even the Pating was better than the drag in my opinion. I'm sorry. Really? These these things are supposed to be able to keep up with the The Pating? Really? 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 They keep up really? with a car that's going like 50 miles an hour, but when they're out of the car and walking, it's... Dum. Dum. And what's up with the old guy? We're eating kill everyone. So the old guy wanted to just capture him. For no reason. We never find out what happens to him. They didn't capture him. They were using his voice, remember? No, they, it, was like, it was like him and they were like merging him into them or something. But that, 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 They were uh, using him to lure everyone else out. Yeah, but then we never... It's just it's like... You need help. The drag the sucked. The patine was worse. No, the drag was uh, worse. No. And then it was preachy. I mean, like, again, I'm fine with progressive attitude. I think that's what my issue was with him. It wasn't the topics he was trying to go. It was how he was trying to do it. It's like, look, Doctor Who's always had a very progressive approach to things. But do you need to use a sledgehammer to hammer your message home into our skulls? It's like, come on. Yeah. And if you don't change your ways for environmentalism... Dread. I mean, I like his writing on a lot of other things. Like, I liked Broadchurch a lot. Yeah, I, I know. Don't, I mean, very few mystery shows will keep me guessing till the very end. Usually I can figure it out within the first couple of episodes. But that one kept me guessing. That one was really good. But And that's why I always I said was, I didn't think he knew how to do sci-fi, because it seemed like we knew he could do Broadchurch well. Yeah. But Doctor Who was so bad. Well, I'm hopeful, because... I'm hopeful when it comes to Doctor Who, so. Yeah. It's Doctor Who. <sighs> oh! Ow. Sorry. <laughs> Last night on The Rookie, we were watching it, and uh, this is Doctor Who related. So, don't worry. It's not too much of a tangent. Um, the one character, Tim, remember the tough training officer guy? I saw that clip. Did you? You I rewound you were and asleep. Watched... No, I was just asleep yet. He was like like a reverse TARDIS, and they were all like... Because <laughs> it was smaller on the inside than it should have been. Yeah. And you were like... Oh, and you were just like... Oh, and you were like, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me rewind it. <laughs> hey, I didn't rewind it. I paused it because I needed a moment. Julius rewound it. Okay, so I was partially asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Your eyes were closed. I thought you didn't see it. No, I didn't. I thought it was pretty funny. But fine, just and then he pressed the button and all the shutters shut on him and he was like, whoops. Yeah. And then he pressed the other one and the things opened and then they were in that back area and then I fell asleep. They found the chair. <laughs> oh my god. The empty, ominous chair. I just thought it was funny that it had somebody. like a Doctor Who call out. And from like the least likely character on that show. That's all. That's it. <laughs> well, I'm also excited. We'll go ahead and wrap this up. Nice quick episode. Oh. Reaction. reaction. Epis what? A nice quick reaction getting back into things. And we'll see you guys more. Later. I don't know. It's been a while. Ring that bell? Oh yeah, ring the bell. <laughs>